Hi everyone, Archana here. Finally, I am here with the high demand kit. So let's get started. Uh, you all already seen my album. This one, the fairy light up album. I will show you one more time. So this is the box, which is altered box. The box itself is not opening like that. It is a sliding box. So you know a graphic 45 boxes. So this is the box which slides on the side uh, but uh, I altered it and I am definitely going to show you how to do that in my tutorial and uh, the album this album I created from scratch uh, but I am giving you the album which is graphic 45 album which perfectly fit in the box but this album I already had the video so this is the light up album so um, in this album i have only one two three four five pages in the middle and the uh, back and front uh, page uh, but your album whatever album you are getting is huge so this album it's not that functional for your pictures or your journaling and everything uh, this is just the album you just go through and enjoy all the beauties but you cannot use it as a picture album but what i came up with that's what it took so long for me to create this kit so what i created i just um, got this album for you uh, this album has so many pages it's 5.5 inches album in a craft color uh, which has a six double sided peekaboo pockets inside and uh, 12 cardstock pages so i will show you quickly uh, how this album looks inside this is my album which is in processing now uh, but you can see those pockets these kind of pockets and these kind of hidden uh, pockets and tags uh, including tags um, this album has so many you can see so many pages you are going to decorate and uh, we are going to do it in a light up album uh, and I will have a tutorial when you buy this kit you will get private video link which only you can see and you can um, follow the tutorial and create your own album so when you purchase the kit you will get video link of the tutorial so I'm going to show you right now what items you are going to get in this kit and this kit is not at all um, very small or uh, I can send you by first class mail this is very heavy and large kit so it should be shipped by priority mail so that mail price is included in this kit price so please check the below link for the uh, kit price um, and uh, I have 10 kits available already six are sold I have four right now but I'm keep making them so I will make sure if you ordered you will get your kit within a week so what I have in here main basic things are this album just I showed you and then this box this album goes perfectly in this box so these two graphic 45 big items in this kit and then papers I am going to show you and then I will move to the all the embellishments since um, on my album uh, I have used Prima's uh, uh, discontinued paper uh, packs called Fairy it's a Judy Lee's uh, paper collection so that collection is no more available and I really tried my best to find out the perfect nice very soft and chic colors for this album so I got this wedding garden papers but believe me these are not at all wedding related pages so I already shown in one of my video uh, all these papers inside but I'm quickly go through this one so you will get an idea these papers are very pretty and they are perfect for fairy theme so uh, you can see there is not at all any wedding write-up or uh, wedding related things or images uh, on this uh, any of these pages i mean so i will quickly go through 
so lot of pages are there in this pack three of each um we will read it here 36 sheets and three per designs uh, and there are some more of these kind of papers which we need for sure for a background and tags and everything and look at this beautiful shabby chic page and uh, these ones so so pretty and some of pages has a doily in there very cute so pretty page and there are doily effects super shabby you can see very pretty pages so these are perfect pages for our album that's what i picked this um, uh, collection so uh, they are in a tiny letter they said wedding day but what i did in my tutorial i just cut this part okay so there are um, other than this strip there is nothing wedding related uh, any word or any image so uh, but the colors and uh, everything is so shabby so chic uh, and I'm definitely going to show you uh, while doing tutorial I created one more album using the same thing light up fairy theme so I'm going to show you and walk through this album again and you will see how beautiful these pages are so this is a big hole pad a six by six paper six paper pad in this kit and then uh, in this uh, kit i have included these butterfly uh, uh, vintage time uh, lemon craft a4 sheet uh, it's a beautiful paper it's a one-sided and uh, we need lots of butterflies for this album so you have plenty of butterflies in really pretty color and some of them vibrant color since these papers are very light colored papers uh, that's what these vibrant butterflies will pop up beautifully and uh, we are definitely going to fussy cut them a lot so this is the only paper you need to fussy cut unless you have to use any flowers or anything and anyway you are using your own creativity to make this whole album you are not going to follow uh, any decoration part of this album because i'm not going to show you how i decorate my album but i am going to give you a tutorial how to insert these lights inside the album so how to hide the wirings and all those things i'm going to show you so uh, this is the one and uh, we need a lot of basic papers so like solid paper so i have added this premium cardstock 65 lb 50 sheets and this is perfect color cardstock for our album since it has a gray uh, light gray and um, this colored papers which is really uh, going to match with the album and it has little bit bluish color since i have matched these papers uh, uh, with these edges like you are uh, doing that um, aging with or inking uh, to the edge so when you are inking the edge that basic back paper will match with the page so that's what uh, i came up i didn't put any blue or any kind uh, similar kind of paper in this since we need a different backing for our page so that page will pop more i hope that makes sense <laughs> so this whole uh, cardstock a4 uh, packaging here and now let's move on to our uh, other embellishments so uh, let's get started i'll show you first flowers we need a lots of flower but you uh, don't need any bulky flowers uh, otherwise your um, album will stay um, open and it will not fit in our that box so we need that box uh, length like uh, that much tall we need to um, feel our goodies inside i hope i am not just <laughs> blabbering i am it, it makes sense i'm so sorry but i hope you will understand what i mean uh, so uh, i tried my best to use all most of the flat kind of uh, flowers or the tiny flowers so um, in this box main flowers are this big packet of prima I mean full packet not big but these are big flowers than the other flowers and these are very pretty flowers these are petalu flowers super chic super shabby and beautiful flowers for your top you, as you have seen 
in my album mostly i uh, decorated this front and the box so most of most of the flowers are going on the top and the box so that's what i inserted two of these uh, uh, beautiful flower packs and then i have prima flowers in flat these are the um, very cute flowers you can see inside this package and i also added some gardenias which are flat gardenias you can cut these threads and they are uh, very pretty flat gardenias and uh, there are 10 gardenias and these prima flowers total i think six of them and then i have added some of these um, blooms these are uh, roses rose uh, like uh, partially bloomed rose birds so 10 of these with leaves okay leaves are attached with this bouquet and then i have these ones very cute very beautiful and these look so cute on projects and especially for fairy projects such flowers are really beautiful so 10 of these and then 10 of these ones these are flat so you can easily cut them and uh, uh, flat them these are very um, necessary flowers as a filler flower so uh, your uh, uh, background of other flowers like if you put underneath these flowers they look so pretty so 10 of these these are two shaded uh, two tone flowers and then i have these another sweetheart kind of flowers which has a uh, these are uh, ivory colored but uh, has some pink center so these are 10 flowers and then i have added these tiny uh, rose buds in uh, two tone shades these are 10 rose buds and then i have added 10 of the double shaded two shaded uh, leaves these are violet orchid craft flowers and uh, that is our flower part then uh, we will go through chipboards so this is the chipboard from scrapnik i have added there is a cute fairy which you have seen on this flower bouquet this is the fairy i have used and this thing i have used inside so um it's up to you how you want to use this chipboard so this is the one chipboard set and then i have added this creative embellishments fairy kit which has a six to uh i think six different fairies we will open it i'll show you all the fairies uh, i have my album link below if you want to go through my album again uh, how i used the fairies um, i wanted to color them totally black and then use it but i didn't do it but if you want it will be so cute uh, then those fairies will pop up more so these are not six these are five fairies cute five fairies you can see very decent size perfect for five by five album so these fairies are included and then uh, you have seen the chipboard this is an, another scrapnik chipboard this is an oval shape but you will get in oval square or circle so um, anything is fine uh, all these shapes are perfectly match on the 5 by 5 album so for example this one is a circle so this goes well with on this album and looks very cute i have a square one also so um, it's a random you will never know what shape you are going to get and i am not going to ask individually since it will be more chaotic to follow all the um, requests uh, but believe me all shapes are beautiful so uh, and uh, you are getting two no four four very strong magnets so these are the magnets so uh, you are getting these for um, this part so we are opening this box like this and i have used two magnets here they are heavy duty magnets they are two here one is here and one is here and uh, you can use uh, two here so i have four magnets for you if you want more magnets you can easily uh, buy from outside but they are strong enough you can see they are sticking very nicely so uh, two four magnets are in this uh, kit 
and then I have added two colors of inks for you to edging your uh, solid paper or the decorative paper uh, so or distressing you can say so I have added two uh, these daubers so you can distress it like that and uh, these two colors which are seriously matches with this album <laughs> means I'm so glad I found these two colors in small uh, package and uh, I have used some of the decorative windows in my album but I couldn't find exact one uh, so I got this resin uh, window for you so you can uh, use it and uh, use some lights inside i'm going to show you how to do that anyways and uh, most important part these lights so usually you are getting three fit lights uh, but i have added these six and half or seven uh, seven feet but i'm sure these are more than six feet lights so uh, these lights are included these are pixie fairy lights very pretty lights it looks blue here but they are not at all blue i'm not sure why it looks blue here uh, maybe because of this plastic wrapping but they are white clear white lights uh, and then i have added this huge big pack of double-sided tape which is kaiser craft double-sided tape which is the 12 mm but if you need a smaller one you can just buy from local art craft stores but i just wanted to give you uh, as much as uh, for your album whatever album needs i am trying my best to put in so mostly um, for mini album we need double sided tips for sure so i have added this one uh, and then uh, i have added some of the flat back poles uh, to stick here and there usually i stick around the flowers or around the fairies a uh, couple of them you don't need more but if you need more you can feel free to get it from other stores and uh, for the laces i have added 18 inch of this flat back pearl lace pearl trim then uh, i closed my album with the seam binding so it's in your hand how uh, tight or how loose you wanted to close it so i always prefer uh, seam binding or any kind of lace closure uh, but you can use any decorative closure if your album is in a perfect size like it's not bulky but it gets bulky uh, you can push them uh, using this uh, seam binding so uh, for this album we need only ivory seam binding but uh, uh, to give you some extra seam binding i just added one of the pink these are yard of each and one of the ivory colored seam binding so two yards uh, seam binding and then um, with some kind of laces we need uh, to uh, use here and there so i have added 18 inch of these three types of laces so i have this floral lace which is so pretty lace this is also 18 inch and this cute dainty lace which is also 18 inch and I have added this beautiful lace. It is 2 inch, I think, uh, wide. But this is so cute lace. It's my favorite lace. You can see. So this is also 18 inch. And uh, then, um, to hide the spine of our album, I'll show you. So this side, I have used this lace. This one. So I am adding this white lace so you can color it, glimmer mist it or use as it is since white color matches everything. So I have added uh, this lace uh, exact the size of this one. Okay. And uh, I think that's it. I have included almost everything here. That is it. So I hope you will like this kit and uh, purchase link is right there and i will be emailing you the tutorial video link and you next time thank you so much bye for now